moved to New York. I don't even want to talk about it, honestly. Since my time here is coming to an end, I still have like five days. I don't know why I'm saying that. It doesn't feel like enough, but since it's coming to an end, I want to make the most of my time here. It is honestly pretty cold and windy, so I need to layer up. But I don't know what we're gonna do. My favorite thing is just walking around, so as long as we do that, I don't mind. I'm just gonna get ready and then we'll figure out what to do. I feel like time has been flying so fast. I was editing a video I filmed with Linda two weeks ago. Like, how was Linda here two weeks ago? It feels like yesterday. But since I've seen, like, all the touristic things so many times i'm just enjoying the casual things like going out for lunch or brunch or whatever walking around shopping okay i need a mirror to do my eyeliner so i'll be back one thing i know for sure we have planned today is that we booked a comedy show but other than that we have no plans to spend the day with me and christelle she's inside she just finished her class anyways i'm ready so Let's go spend the day together. We're going to Soho and we're going to Le Botanis, a fully plant-based restaurant. My eyes are so like puffy from allergies. That's how I know spring is coming. The allergies are really horrible right now. I got these glasses yesterday. Still hates my glasses. I don't so like funny color. I love when you hate something that I wear. You wear weird stuff. You have a Teta vibe sometimes. I was picking glasses yesterday. She's like, I don't like it. It looks like a Teta vibe. I'm like, that's what I'm going for. Like, she literally goes for grandma. <laughs> Grandmas know what's up with their fashion. Oh my god. Is it not so quiet in the yeah. summer? <laughs> I wouldn't mind I know, right? And I'm like holding out a vlog camera. We have to switch lines now. Literally, I feel like I'm in like a simulation right now. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. I swear. Like the way that everyone's rushing in like different directions. But it's so quiet. I know, right? It's silent, but everyone's just rushing. You just hear footsteps. Stay clear of the closing doors, please. So funny. This is the first like subway that it's so loud and clear to speak in. <laughs> the vibes in the subway today are really funny. My hair Fever is fine. Day. I'm having a bad hair day. I swear it's cute in the Stop clip. I like it. I don't like when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I don't know how to lie. Genuinely, I'm such a bad liar. Like, it's so obvious when I lie. But I am a good actress. Also, something I realized, I didn't notice this before. The subways that go down, like, see the subway next to you going up or going down. It's like lower underground. It's so creepy. I've never seen it. It's, it's an express the train. It's express, so you're just gonna skip all the yeah. stuff. We're gonna skip out. them, but I know we're gonna see them. Oh, yeah. It's kind of making me dizzy, though. You learned to express? Bravo. Did I teach you? A TikTok. I saw a TikTok. I sent it to you. It was like a guy explaining like the way the subway system works. I'm the one who teaches you everything about You didn't teach me this one. I'm your tour guide. You are my tour guide, but you didn't teach me this one. Jess is mean. I think I would have been so confused if I took an express train without re like knowing what an express train is. I'd be like, why is this skipping stuff? I mean, you can see on Google where it's gonna go, so you don't yeah, need to. True. Okay, I keep looking and it keeps making me dizzy. The botanist. I love how you're like becoming vegan because of me. I literally am. I'm doing lunch. Because I'm very indecisive, I got this thing where it's like a soup and a bowl. She recommended this. It's like a rice bowl. Everything here is plant based. Mine is the I don't even know what I got. The soup of the day and then the Tibetan mama. I like it because it's like light, like it feels light. This is really good. Try it. Well, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. No, I just swallow the spice. I swear, in my kitchen, when I have my own house, I want the floor to be like this, like checkered. Surprisingly, they had a lot of vegan options. So I got s'mores, but it's not vegan. Yeah. Yours is vegan. So I can't try that, but mm -hmm. you can try this. It's um, a peanut butter bar. Cheers. Cheers. Is it good? Hard. 
<laughs> you do. This part is a bit weird. You don't look like you like it at all. I'm trying to understand it. The place looks cute, but it's better taste than mine. It. Really? Proceeds to eat it. Mine's not good. <laughs> it's just not the best, but it's alright. I don't know. It's weird. I um, keep eating it. <laughs> it's weird. And <laughs> then takes a bite. Oh, and I also got some skincare from the ordinary. Let's do a haul. I got this moisturizer. It's. I don't even know what it's made out of actually. A glycolic acid toner because I wanted to try using toner. Maybe it will help with my acne. Then this is like an eye serum. It's caffeine, whatever. I get really puffy eyes. I was talking about it in the vlog like in spring. So maybe that will help. Most of the time I get all this skincare and it doesn't actually help. And then the most like popular thing at the ordinary is the hyaluronic acid. It's like been viral on TikTok. Yeah, that's pretty much my... my care haul. We're in Soho just like walking around. We went into this cute little store that Christelle told me about. This store has so many cute things but like overpriced. It's crazy overpriced. I was telling Jess about it. I'm like you want to go look yeah. and not buy anything? Not buy anything. Because <laughs> like I, a ring mm. was two thousand dollars. Yeah my the one I wanted. Okay so I discovered this place because I wanted to buy my mom a secret Santa gift because we do secret Santa in my house and I had my mom. So I go in and I find this cute boutique and it was this beautiful vintage gold ring. Yeah I remember it looked nice but like it looked like it was worth a hundred dollars. It was two thousand. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's crazy, but they have cool things. Like, it gives, like, bohemian vibes. Last night, as I was scrolling through TikTok, I saw a video of this bookshop that looked so nice. Like, it's huge. I think, like, that's how it looked in the video. Whenever I travel, I love going to bookshops, so we're gonna go check it out. Yesterday, I was, like, video calling my mom and walking around and showing her. And then we saw, like, a bookshop, and she's like, go in and see if they have art books. So I walked in, and it was cute. Let me just fix my lips, and then we're on our way. Try my coffee from the cupcake place. Is it good? It's like not bad, but it's not the best. Try Christelle's coffee from the place. Girl, I got lipstick on your coffee. I'm not the biggest fan of that coffee. It's not that good. I don't right? know if it's because oh, I don't your like lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> if it's because like it's not the sweet. sugar. It's not sweet. I don't know. It tastes like like burnt coffee a bit. That place looks cute, but like their pastries yeah. weren't really it and it looks so like either. it's gonna be amazing literally my camera is like frozen like my hand hurts holding my camera because it's so cold to the bookshop we go i love the brick and i love soho we didn't tell them it's a full soho day it is a full soho day you didn't tell them i did tell them that we're in soho you didn't tell them it's a soho day <laughs> it's a soho day guys we booked a comedy show tonight that's exciting because me and linda missed the comedy show last time because we were 10 minutes late so today we have to make sure to be on time and apparently Apparently they're like comedians from like HBO and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Apparently they're good comedians. I found three books about Beirut and the Civil War, but I have to pick my favorite. Me and Jess voted this one. Actually, I want to check the ratings of them. Best in Beirut. Yeah, but it's B space S, and it's best space between. Oh. B as in Beirut. <laughs> it has a 3.5 out of 5 rating, which is not the greatest. Not the greatest. Fun. This also 3.5. All right, tell me this. 3.4. So actually, just go for not the one we one. liked. Yeah. Don't look at the Goodreads rating. I think she Wait. should go with this one. B as in Beirut. It has all the Murakami books, but like I have to research which one to get, so I'm not gonna get one now. I always carry just as you <laughs> Always. <laughs> I got this book. I talked about it in one of my videos without having read it before and now I'm finally gonna read it because I couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, I'm holding it backwards. Apparently it's like helps you get out of a creative rut, which I need that. Show what you got. Oh, I bought a book about the Civil War in Lebanon, like these girls and it's like fiction, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah. fiction. And then I thought, I have a lot of thoughts and anger. I'll write them down. I've never been the journaling type, so I'm just gonna try. I'm telling her she needs she to made get me. into journaling. Yeah. I love journaling. And I literally tell everyone I know to get a journal and start. I'm though. just not the type to want to write when I'm mad, but Jess was like, you should. You should make it a habit. Like sometimes I don't want to write, but I force myself. Anyways, we're leaving the bookstore. We've been in here for like, so long, like literally an hour. Anytime I go into a bookstore, I spend so long there. We click quickly. We click. Why do I keep saying quickly? We click. 
We quickly touched up our makeup and now we have to go to the comedy show. We're actually in a rush. I'm just gonna throw on my coat. I'm not gonna bring my camera, so I'm gonna switch to iPhone vlog. We have to go so that we can get good seats. Bye. See you at the comedy club. got back from the comedy show. The best comedy show, it might I add, that I've ever been It was to. so good. Me and Krista, <laughs> so tired. I know, me too. When we were in line for the show, we're like, we have to bring up that we're Lebanese. I need a cotton pad. I'll get it for you, just talk. We were like, we have to bring up that we're Lebanese somehow in the show. They start asking around, like, where is everyone from? And then everyone's just like saying different states. And I'm like, Christelle, like, let's bring it up. He goes around asking where people are from again. I raise my hand or something. And then he was like, where are you from? I'm like, Lebanon. The whole show were referred to as Lebanon. It was so cute. I forgot this. Okay. Like, I can't tell. So, this. there were like a lot of different comedians. So the first guy, we say Lebanon. He's like, <gasps> Lebanese girls. And he shakes our hands. We're like, okay. He likes Lebanon. And then another guy comes on and he just was mad at us because apparently we didn't laugh enough. But it wasn't on purpose. A lot of eye contact like, towards it us. Was, it was awkward eye contact. Like, he'll yeah. tell a joke that it's like, what are we going to respond to? Yeah. This? And he'll just stare at us. I feel bad because it's funny and he can see us laughing, but it's like... We were laughing, but it's like when you're staring at us and not saying anything and just saying your jokes, yeah, we're all going to talk. Like, the other guys were the addressing other guys us. guys were addressing us, that's why. Yeah, this guy just expected to look at us as he's saying a joke and We'll like throw a word in, but we're not gonna do that, you know. So at the end, he walks off. He was like, "You guys were the worst crowd." Me and Jessica, rude, and, honestly. Yeah, me and Jessica, and we're like, "No, no, we're so sorry." And he just walks away. We're like, "Okay, you know what? You're rude." Then another guy comes on. He just starts making like jokes and he whatever. Was so cute. He was very cute. And then he's like, "Has anyone here done or been familiar with or done long distance?" I'm currently doing long distance. Jess was like, "Raise your hand, raise your hand." So I was like, "Okay." I was like trying yeah. to find any way to interact because I'm like, we're sitting right in the front like, like first row right like you, you have, have to, to interact. interact i'm like you know what we've been talking why why now why stop now so i raised my hand he's like you're doing long distance when did you do long distance or whatever i'm like i'm currently doing it he's like where's your boyfriend i was like lebanon he's like aren't you from lebanon i'm like yeah he's like so why'd you come to new york and i was like oh I'm like i'm studying here and then he's like, what are you studying? I'm like, architecture. He's like, so what's the plan? To rebuild Beirut? And I'm like, yep, exactly. I'm going to rebuild Beirut. It's so funny. Like, everyone started laughing. And then one guy laughs extremely hard. This guy, remember him, guys. He comes back. So then he looks at the guy. He's like, why are you laughing? Architecture or Beirut? He's like, both. So I was like, okay. I don't get what this guy means, but we'll... Keep him. Keep him in mind, guys. He's part of the plot. He's part of the plot. The second woman comes and she's just talking. She's like, good morning, everyone. Good morning. She looks at me and Jess. She's like, good morning, Lebanon. After we told the first guy we're from Lebanon, one final guy comes on. So Jess goes to the bathroom and it's just me. And this guy goes like, hey, girl in the back, stop talking. Not to me, by the way. To some random girl. And then the girl like gets kind of bothered and she starts whispering to her boyfriend. She's like, oh my God, like whatever. Like, why is he saying that to me? He looks at the crowd and he's like, she's still talking after I told her not to talk. He was very direct. And then she leaves. He's like, and she's being disrespectful, not talking. Am I wrong to say not to talk in my show? And then Jess pulls up. The first thing I tell Jess, I'm like, Jess, don't talk. Like, what <laughs> happened? Like, I was gone for a minute. Literally, what happened? So confused. She's like, Christelle, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, just don't talk. I'll explain later. Just don't talk. Let's not. And then he goes like, anyone else from abroad in the crowd? And me and Jess are like, you know what? We've been talking so much. Maybe we should just shut up for a bit. So we don't say anything. The whole crowd. Start screaming, Lebanon, Lebanon! We're like, oh my god, they're screaming for us! It was so cute. So he looks, and he doesn't even acknowledge what the crowd is saying. He just looks at me and Jess, he's like, where are you two from? We're like, Lebanon. Like, we know he knows. Like, every comedian knew from the first guy. He's like, I've been to Lebanon. Habibi, marhaba, shukran. He just starts saying, like, Lebanese words, every like, Lebanese Arabic words. words. Yeah. And as he was, like, done with the show, he comes up to me and Jess, he's like, shukran. And he shakes our hands. So cute. Super cute. And then the show ends, and the first guy, the first guy we told we were Lebanese and he was like oh Lebanese girls he's saying thank you to everyone that entertained like the people he picked at and then he's taking pictures with everyone so he looks at me and Jesse's like Lebanon come take a picture as the show ends this guy comes up to us and I don't remember what he first said he said hi I'm sorry I just wanted to introduce myself I look at him I'm like you're Lebanese he's like I am <laughs> yeah it was so cute he's like you guys made the show better because like he's also Lebanese it was really cool yeah it was just
just really cute. Like we 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 felt seen as a nation. It's cute because like we wanted to bring up that we're Lebanese somehow in this comedy show. And we did. We had every opera, every comedian that came, oh, except like two people. Out of like six, two people didn't bring up Lebanon, which is like a very good yeah. amount. Moral of the story: If you go to a comedy show and you're from a small country that you feel needs more recognition, just say where you're from. Mm -hmm. It's so much more fun when you interact. Like last yeah. time we went to a comedy show, we didn't say anything, but we but were this, so far. Yeah, we were so yeah. far. Me and Jess are thinking of going back and being in the I'm front so row, down. so we can talk to more people. Maybe this time it could be another thing that we focus on. But there was the part where one of the comedians apparently dated a Lebanese girl oh. that's also a Lebanese comedian, and then he was like, "You Lebanese girls are a little bit crazy." Something like that. It was so funny. It was like, I used to be in love with a Lebanese girl and she was crazy. She would scream at me in Arabic. <laughs> so let's get our facts straight. Maybe, maybe they didn't date. I don't but know if they did. He said I was in love with a Lebanese girl, yeah. but we're not sure if they did. Let's, let's get our facts yeah, straight. actually, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might have made that up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done with my skincare. I'm gonna get ready for bed. That's it for our day in New York. It was honestly so fun.